Yeah, you're right. They paid to get in there though too. Yeah, so that's prostitution. You, you paying for the whole shebang. You ain't just anyway, man. <laughs> What's up, everybody, man? Y'all have tuned in to Patty with your boy KD Dollar it's from true. Fly ninety three point five Radio. It's your boy Gerard J.K. McCain from Against the Grain Sports. What it do? You got Brown Body, Brown Eye Entertainment in the building. That's crazy. Really? Yeah. Bro, they making some bank off of it. And that's what they probably doing. But that's what I'm saying. Like like I just said, they trying to make it for everybody so they can make money off of everybody. It's they trying to have it for the kids and they trying to have it for the grown ups. And they trying to have it for the grandparents. But they and for the grandparents. <laughs> and for the grand, period. For real. They want I'm telling you to go as that's, a family. that's three generations of, of, of money you getting, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so was there a lot of action? In the film or what you mean the Star Wars? Yeah. yeah, it's going to be a lot of action. But where there's a lot of action, they they lose in the acting. You uh, feel me? You lose it in the acting, and then the storylines. It didn't keep my. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They tried to. They it's like they try to follow a script and couldn't follow it all the way. You know, they tried to go with, uh, with a Star Wars type of feel, but just was off a little bit because it had too much comedy. I, you know what I'm saying? Luke Skywalker is not supposed to be Dave Chappelle in Star Wars. Right. What? He is not supposed to be a comic. He is not supposed You, you feel me? How many jokes he got off? Man, he got a little. He just got, you know. Like, was he it, was unbelievable. It, he wasn't hard. He was soft to me. He was just too. It's Luke. Did he do any badass shit? It's Luke. Man, he, yeah, he did some badass shit. You know, he did some badass shit. All right. But it's Luke. He ain't supposed to be no pussy. Man, he just was too soft to me, man. I wasn't satisfied. Also, the 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 little boy, the, not the little boy, but the young black guy, whatever his name is, and then the white girl. They was they were friends, but in the first one, they were like, like they was trying to get a little intimate. Right. They yeah. deaded that shit. This movie deaded it. What they did is that they put the black dude with a little Oriental chick that he found. Out of nowhere, <laughs> she just happened to <laughs> stick with the motherfucker, and then she gets and she kisses him, and when she kisses him, he's just shocked, like, "Oh God, I got kissed by her." And then later in the movie, the white girl pops up, like, "Hey," sees him close to her, and it's like, "Oh, hey, okay, I see you, bruh." You know <laughs> that <laughs> what? I'm not bullshitting, bruh. Hey, yeah, they, the white people didn't want that in the movie. They deaded that. Wow. They deaded it. So what was the what what was the actual plot? What what what, what was Man. they trying to do? Uh, they was trying to kill Luke Skywalker, bro. They was trying to find him. Period. That's what it was all about. Destroy him so there's no chance of the Jedi ever coming back. And that's what it was about. Wow. Because he was the so-called last Jedi. But the movie kind of just showing that he's not the last Jedi. Because no the girl there's, is a Jedi. There's other Jedi's, period. Yeah, okay, because okay, the last one they explained, basically, because to my knowledge, it seemed like they ran off that one game they made when you could create Luke Skywalker. After everything ended, Luke tried to build a school and teach everybody. And they said Luke tried to start teaching people how to use the Force. But the first two was, two, two ended up doing good, but one turned evil. And that ended up being Han Solo's son. Yeah, and that's what it was about. And, so and, what happened to the other one? What? Which one? Because they said it was two. It was like two people he taught, but both of them did good, but one turned evil. Nah, and the what? other one just disappeared. Yeah, well, they saying in this one that he taught him, and that it look he made it seem like Luke was he thought Luke was gonna kill him with some shit, and he defended himself because Luke decided that out of nowhere that he was you know saying gonna eventually turn bad. Or some shit. So he might as well destroy him now. It was crazy, man. It was just fucking crazy. What? It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't what I thought. And I blame Walt Disney. That's the most. Walt dumb. Disney, you get a big ass motherfucking petty for being so stupid at making Star Wars. Fuck you, and petty. <laughs> Damn. Petty. Damn. Right. Not only, not only are y'all making soft ass fucking films, but you got fucking gay. Fucking rings in, in in your workplace, like what the fuck? Oh yeah, they got busted. Like eighteen people got like arrested. They found out they was all like it was some big ass sex ring, and they all pedophiles, and they all worked there at uh, Disneyland. Walt Aww. Disney, 
Why One person got caught trying piece? to take a kid to the back, and they ran his tags and shit. It was like, oh, you're a sex pedophile, and they ran everybody's shit. And it was like, Damn. oh, y'all got we got 18 of these niggas down here. They <laughs> get them why, up out of here. That's why the movies is like that. <laughs> <laughs> Sauce for the kids. Everything for the kids, because they really for the kids. Little oh, fuckers. That's Nasty. Crazy, man. Nasty. Walt Disney, man. Go hang yourself. Damn. And and what I mean by that is that y'all ain't representing y'all y'all destroyed Thor. How you destroyed Thor though? Oh, the movies y'all make, y'all buying up everything. Y'all are buying. What the fuck are y'all the mafia? Because they doing some mafioso type shit right now. A uh, true true gangsters buy up everything so they can have say over everything. Yep. Right. And now they got Fox. Do they? Yeah. They got Fox. They just bought Twenty First Century Fox. Yo. Yeah, they bought Twenty First Century Fox. $52.4 billion. Billion. Wow. B -b -b billion. You got these companies, man, that's just deciding to buy up everything because they trying to lessen the numbers on people who can control that shit. Yep. Because. Wow. Plus, plus 21 Century Fox, they owned the rest of those those Marvel <sighs> figures that they won't make movies for, like yep. the Hulk and, you know what I'm saying, the Fantastic Four and all that, so. Only person that's holding their shit is Sony because they just got Spider Man. They got they a gonna, couple other people, but their main person is Spider Man. But they own a Spider Man though. They that's no nah, they 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 ain't gave it to them. They just got uh, contracts. So whatever movies y'all put them in, we get they getting paid for it. But right. they still got the right and title. So they the only ones that's smart with it. They ain't trying to give it up. That's why they say around the, in the two thousand era, they say they knew about it, and that's why everybody started buying up comics. They just start buying the rights out of them. Stan Lee gave up his shit for damn near half a billion dollars. Wow. He just gave up stocks, though. But he like 90-something years old, too, so shit. He tried to get rid of it. Guess right. what happens when he's going to die, Dan? Who's going to get all his shit? Who? Disney. Because he got no one else is going to touch it. Unless he's going to give away to charity. Oh, he probably don't got that. no family to give it to and no shit like that? Wow. Did... Disney man is just proving it to be something else. I mean, it used to be man, just cartoons and shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Sit down with your family, watch a Walt Disney cartoon, memorable shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Little Twinker Bell going over the Walt Disney sign. You had it was a joyous time to sit down with the kids and the family and watch a Walt Disney film. That's what you did with your family. It's on some other shit now. It's on some takeover shit. We want to take all this shit. We want to control. But I, but but if somebody if 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 there's if some some independents can come in and and not duplicate but come up with some 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 hard ass you know what I'm saying superhero movies man they some real they'll shit they'll fit in that niche and they'll they'll get some money man because who want to keep seeing soft shit all the time man I want to see some motherfuckers go at it yeah see? me too. Motherfuckers down there killing each other. Yeah. yeah. Fuck it. Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying. You can't. And I don't always want to see the good guy win. I want to see some villains win shit because they do win in the comics. So. Yeah. See? See? Like how the, like how the Logan movie should have supposed to have been. Old Man Logan's storyline in the comic book was the super villains teamed up together. They sent Mysterio into the uh, uh, X Mansion, fuck with uh, Wolverine's head. So everything was an illusion. Everybody that busted the door, it looked like a super villain. This nigga said, oh, bet. I'm going to slaughter all y'all to pieces then because it's my house and law states. I can kill anybody that comes in this bitch. Start murking them, cutting off heads and all. But he ended up waking up, found out he killed everybody who just came back from the mall, and everybody that tried to stop him, he murdered them in the house. Oh, super wow. villains took over the world. Like, nukes and shit went off. And then, like, because the, the, nobody didn't know how to fight them. So everybody just lost. Hulk became evil and started running districts. He was like the president damn near. He had the Hulk kids running around wrecking shit, talking about payments. It's your due. They told Wolverine, you better give us our money. So he went on a mission, came back. Family was slaughtered. So he went to go try to kill the Hulk. Dish, if that was the actual movie, it would have been badass. Right. Yeah, but that wasn't. It was softer than, way softer than that. Right. right they Which is what they we're talking little, about. They had the little girl as a beast, though. She was, she was nasty. She was murking shit. Matter of fact, we were just watching that shit. And we were just talking about that little girl, man. She was man. harder than Wolverine for yeah, real in that it's slick, like, bro. Damn, how, how did Wolverine get so weak, man? That's supposed to be that nigga. Well, he dude. was sick. He, they, he couldn't even heal he right. He was supposed to be sick. Nah, See? not at all. But why was he sick? Like, they never answered it. They never did answer that question, right? 
Nope. Bullshit. Bullshit. Yes. Bullshit. And bro, and, and, and DC comps Zack Snyder. Fuck you. You're not a director, bro. You just fucked up the. Who? Who you talking about? Zack Snyder. Who the fuck is Zack Snyder? The motherfucker that, that he he fucked up. Uh, he he's the director that did uh 300. Uh, okay. What about it? He can't get a storyline straight, and he fucked up Justice League. And I'm mad about that. And they made my man Batman a bitch, bro. Yeah, Justice League was all right. It was all right. Batman was a little soft. Jokes. And he ain't never supposed to be soft. Never. He, he dark. Batman is dark as fuck. And he jumped into any situation even though he knows he's going to lose. I'm sorry. Cyborg was getting his ass whooped. Batman was just staring at him like, mm. I feel like I should jump down there and pull a Claymore on him, jump <laughs> off and blow him up. But right. no, he just sat there and watched him get whooped until Superman came through. And why the fuck was Superman mad at him? Superman was ang- Superman was angry as fuck, like forever in this movie. Like, but he said you he woke up with it a, was your fault. Like, he woke up on the wrong side of the coffin. He was just pissed, and evidently he didn't recognize nobody until he seen Lois, and then he kind of snapped up out of it. You know what I'm saying? He was about to cold murder everybody. But bro. he kind of remembered. Su- I, I, that's what I'm saying. He kind of remembered Batman because what did he say? <laughs> it's your fault. You can't let me live. You can't let me die. You can't let me live. You can't let me die. That shows that you remember something. So why you want to kill Batman? Shit, the nigga saved, saved your moms. The nigga just saved your moms. Hey, look. No <laughs> one told this nigga to, hey, jam this in his chest. No one told him to go do that. Y'all could have just sent Wonder Woman since she can, you know, survive missiles. Well, my thing is, how did, how did him stabbing Doom, Dooms, they kill him? That, that didn't make no sense to me. It didn't make no sense to me, man. That's what I'm saying, man. This shit is bullshit. Give us something real, man. Give give us something real, man. For us real motherfuckers out here. I mean, make right because in the comics, what what was it? They hit each other so hard, they kill each other or something like that. Damn, there. Yeah, it's supposed to be if they hit each other with so much might. But then, man, I'm done. Maybe that's what they. They do it how they want to, man. The movies, man. They they motherfuckers do it how they want to. But we just, you know what I'm saying, Walt Disney, man, get it together, man. Make something for the G's, man. Y'all, you like Gerard said, you making shit for grandmas. For kids, the whole, that's cool. That's cool, man. But you know what I'm saying? We we don't want to see comedy, man. This is we want to see action. You know what I'm saying? It's cool to have a little humor. I ain't saying be dry, don't take out all the humor. Nah. But man, every scene don't have to be motherfucking uh deaf comedy jam. You man. know what I'm saying? It makes me like Jessica Jones more. No, I still, I never liked Je- hey, that. That first Jessica Jones was, it was boring as hell. I just like want to hate last, Jessica Jones for real. Like the the so y'all about to be mad at this thing. They got a season two on its way. Yeah, I know. Real soon. Oh, uh, word? Yeah. yeah hopefully, like Jessica- but hopefully she going to be a lot raw in, se- in the two, because what they did with that Punisher, man, I get them so many props for that Punisher. Man. Punisher was awesome. Right. Punisher was absolutely awesome. That we said that savage. we said that before the show. That shit was man awesome. They need to take that Punisher concept and put that with some of these movies like Thor and them. And, Period. And, and Period. That should be where it's supposed to be. And all the fight sequence should be from Daredevil. <laughs> and Daredevil's fight sequence is the shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because if you give me that bullshit from Iron Fist, I'm gonna be heavily pissed. Man, that soft ass nigga, man. Bro. That was the softest <laughs> motherfucker I ever seen in my life, cool. man. Oh yeah, motherfucker. Danny Our, Rand. Danny Rand. <laughs> Danny Rand might as well had a motherfucking dress on, man. It killed, I hated it. I, I'm the I don't even, uh, weapon. That don't make sense that some of them joints be good and some of them don't. Right. Yo, keep them shits equal, man. God damn. He only could use one Iron Fist. Iron Fist in the comics had two hands, and he was beating niggas' asses like he was Bruce Lee. <laughs> like, come on, bro. That's how he was supposed to be on. He was supposed to... that. I suspect that's a shit on Daredevil. Like, he was supposed to go in and start whooping everybody's ass. <laughs> so but it's like they, they be starting that shit out too slow, man. Yeah, they be starting out. They got to they gotta drag the story. They got to drag you out. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's some bullshit, man. You know, but like, like, hey, we did have something good to watch, though. Punisher was good as Straight fuck. to yeah. it. Yeah. So, hey, hey, Petty World, if you haven't had a chance to check out Punisher on Netflix, check it out. As you see, we are big, big fans of comic books and comic book movies. So we, we, we want to see a good-ass movie. What about y'all? We want to see some real shit. For all my comic book Marvel and DC fans out there, you know what I'm saying? Image and all that, et cetera, et cetera. Man, you know, we, 
I'm pretty sure y'all might feel the goddamn same way. Right. <laughs> Period. Hey, yo, on social media, man, yo, uh, they had a they had a woman testify on church. Did y'all see that shit? <laughs> testify. Well, that shit was funny yeah. as fuck. I saw you, you say testify. I she yeah. was testifying in church for the new year. They said it went wrong. Yeah. It, like, it didn't go wrong. She was yeah. testifying. She was testifying in she church. She was testifying. Te- yo, yo, if, yo, if you speak, you got to speak in the mic, though. For real, for real. What did she testify to? Huh? What did Man, she testify to? Because she said that she used to be out here. You know what I'm saying? And she was like, I used to be prostituting and sucking dick and licking these man's balls. And they Whoa. took, they that, took that, the mic from her. So that she said I was licking balls. They took the they mic took the from mic from her, but she was motherfucking serious. But she was just trying to tell her story. I, I thought that was church, though. No, you got to let the people talk, right? But see, that's the thing about it, though. They took the mic from her and cut her off. Man, she could have probably cut went home and slit, slit her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, say I can't. She might. She might. This might have been her last resort. It might have been like you know what I'm saying. I, I need to. I need to get at one with God because of how I'm living. Right. If she is that. Ignorant enough, and I don't mean ignorant in a bad way. Some people just can't help it. If she if she was just that ignorant to go up there and say that, evidently she she needed help. To help. Yeah, and she needed to get that off her chest. And they just played her and just sent her to you know what I'm saying like. And then she just the, um, the lady up up there with the mic was just trying to really change the subject. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking like that's the church. You, that's the church you need to avoid. Yeah, yeah. That's the one Come you closer. gotta avoid. Yeah, period. But uh, I was, I was I'm, just, I'm, I'm I thought pretty that sure was... with some kids in there too. You know what I'm saying? They probably considered that. But at the same time, man, when church is real, church gotta be real. You can't, you know what I'm saying? Shit, that church, church has oh, gotta be there. Church, churches is supposed to be there. For the congregation. Yeah, but you the know. The church is the flock. Standards. You feel me? It's double standards, though. What you mean? It's just double. Because you can't. She can be in the church and testify. And just because she's testifying about something that, you know, they think nobody wants to hear about, they shouldn't cut her off. But in the same breath, they're saying, come and lay all your burdens on the altar. Nah, but he, he do uh, walk I'm... do walk completely away from her, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If, if anything, he should have been like, well, that's something that we can talk about. And, you know what I'm saying? You can testify in private. Then he could have took her to the side and, you know what I'm saying, counseled her or something. But he just completely walked away from her like, I don't know what this bitch talking about. <laughs> hey, you know how Catholic Church, you got to have that little booth and they walk in and shit? Yeah. It's called Bru- Confession. Oh, Confession? <laughs> that shit will be. <laughs> <laughs> Why, thank you. I appreciate that. It's the booth, man. <laughs> if it, if it, one. So if you go in there, bro, imagine you the priest and you hear that shit, bro. You on who you want to start man, laughing. Them priests hear all kind of shit, man. They hear murders and all kind of shit. Man, I don't want to be that. I killed the man last week. I don't know how to handle it, man. Slit his throat and went for his family. Like, Jesus Christ. Uh, God is with you. Uh, can you come back later on, bro? But, 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 but those priests are trained to, you know what I'm saying, to keep a vow of silence, too. They can't go and tell somebody that somebody confessed to that either. They got to just keep that on them. And, hey, and they wanna... can't because if they if they get caught, they get the fuck in trouble, man. Hey. Like, literally. They get fired. They get uh, uh, excommunicated. Everything, bro. They they they'll lose some shit if they tell somebody's business. Hey, bro. That means I need all the priests. I bet you all the priests are like drug dealers and do sex trafficking and shit, bro. They do some dirty shit, bro. I bet you they do. They can't talk about it. So where you get the drugs from? That's Sorry, that's I'm been. I seen a movie can't like I seen a movie like that once where the priest was one of the main suppliers. Oh, it was in uh, what's the name? Power. Remember uh, the priest was uh the one that uh the white boy was that was one of his uh customers the priest y'all remember that yeah. shit what? Yeah. what yeah the priest he was and he was a real catholic i think he was a catholic yeah, priest he was yeah he was in the hood he was selling drugs that don't that that don't surprise me at all and the law states anything is dealing with religion they can get their hands on any narcotics they want they could just ask for it they can uh, supply it I don't know hey, how bro. true that. <laughs> no, I'm, about that. I'm dead that serious. Look, it's for it's for uh it's for religion studies. Yo, Check that out. Check it yeah. out. It's religion studies for religion <laughs> studies. Any church never, can ask for. It. I ain't never heard of that brown body. Hey yo, man, listen. <laughs> you know how many niggas I know would have been priests by now. <laughs> 
Okay. Yeah, so I need uh, 20 tons of fentanyl. And, right. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll go ahead and take some of that cocaine. <laughs> Praise him. <laughs> so what you need it for? It's for studying. <laughs> for a higher power. I, I don't know about right, that brown body. I can't. I can't. I, yeah. Hey, man, I'm telling you, just just check it out, man. You can be like, yo, what the fuck is this? I'm, yo, so, it's loopholes, man, so, in the system. So smearing off. Did y'all see the smearing off on the petty page? The Smirnoff vodka has brand new cans in the the outside of the can is two men holding each other. Yeah. And then they have also have with two women holding each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have y'all seen that? Yeah, what the, the fuck? Different, no. different colored bottles. There's different colored bottles. The men are kissing and the women are kissing. Yeah, uh, uh Whoa. Petty Petty, uh our our petty fans out there, man, don't forget to go to the uh Petty Podcast on Facebook group and I page. See yeah, hey. it's it's crazy. We got a lot of funny stuff on there. But yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> They're pushing it on us. You got to watch out, man. So if you're in the club and you say, I need a spirit off, and they give you one with a bottle of another man, like, bitch, you call me gay? Yeah. <laughs> 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 now, I think I think what they're trying to do, man, is they, they, they are trying to, to push it on everybody to the point, man, you might just wake up one day like, oh, shit, you know what? You know, fuck you, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Oh, fuck you, girl. I'm, I'm gay now. Um, you know what I'm saying? I hope that don't happen, man. I, I'm straight up, man. They trying to push it on our kids subliminally. You know what I'm saying? Through, through. I mean, but every it's, it's acceptable, like really bad right now. Where 20 years ago, oh you couldn't even mention it right Listen, now. Listen, man, man, I was watching The Real today, man, and, and your boy Sean T was on there. The hip-hop ab nigga. Okay, yeah. So, you know, he married to a white guy. I didn't know that. He's married to a white guy, and they just had twin babies. <laughs> huh? What? They just had. They had surrogate. They had surrogate women, <laughs> and and one fertilized one, and one fertilized the other, and they got they got a uh, twin baby. Do you hear this bullshit? Hey, hold on. I got Seriously. one question then. So, if, do you hear this bullshit? I heard it. <laughs> if, what happened? They want to meet their real moms. <laughs> like this is your mom. No, this is your mom. No, this is your mom. You're going. Like, it's so I, confusing. It's so I'm so. That's, that's fucked up, man. And you know what? I mean, to each his own. We allowed to say whatever the fuck we want, and that that's cool. We are not downplaying homosexuality, but we are old school, man. And, and we are, we believe in what we believe, and it's one thing to to do that. If that's what you want to do. But they're fucking shoving it down our throat. And I really, really don't appreciate it. I don't appreciate it that you can go to the store and see this on a can. Two men kissing each other. That you could go into a store and see two women kissing each other on a can. Your kids look at everything. You know what I'm saying? They're they pushing this shit. And I say kids because they're acceptable more so than we. We old school. We know what it is. You know what I'm saying? This shit's nasty. But, our, you know what I'm saying? It's everything is softer. So, if it's changed drastically in the last 20 years, what does the next 20 years have to say? And we see bullshit like this. Nigga, it's going to be scary as fuck. It's going to look like the uh, the fifth element. You know how they had Chris Rock? No, yeah, Chris Rock dress? Yeah. It's going to be like that, bro. They got Uzi Vert dancing with his shoulder like Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, for the little, for the rappers, you know I, what I'm I, saying. I seen it, bro. Come Bruh. on, man. Did you see when he walked up to them kids and asked them did they ride? Yeah, he ride going, little motorcycles or whatever. Bro, all that. That's how. That's how a pedophile talks, bro. I don't oh, y'all in school? Y'all want to come out? Oh, do you ride? Oh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. But yeah, like I said, man, if that's what you want to do, man. But it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's incredibly, it's but incredible you, you how they know just, how bad it is. It's so accepted right now. Ooh, what's his name? Genuine? Yeah, yeah. Oh, bro. Yeah. The the at the TV and the internet is going on a war with him because he did not want to kiss a trans on live TV. Get the hell out of here. Yeah. I guess with some performance, and the person that was, was performing, I guess, got to come up and kiss him. It was a tranny. And he was like, what? Fuck that. So you need to tell me that they mad at him? Yes. Instead of being mad at the trainee for trying to kiss him? Yes. They mad because he didn't kiss him? Yes. 
I'm, I'm appalled. <laughs> I feel that I, I can't believe it. This world is crazy. It, it's, it's bad. So what he do? I mean, what happened? What was what 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 was this song? This I don't know. It just popped up because uh, BT is um talking about this, but they trying to get more information themselves. They just said at the performance. That's they crazy. Was, they came up trying to kiss him. He was like, nah. Next That's you know, crazy. Everybody was mad about it. Crowd pissed. Internet pissed. Twitter pissed. It'd be different if he didn't know that it was a tranny. Like, if he just thought it was just a woman. But he knows. So you know you kissing the dude. Right. You know what I'm saying? It so would have been not- social nightmare. Right. Uh-huh. Exactly. It would have been a social kid, media nightmare. Yeah. So basically, they're mad at him because he wouldn't let them, you know what I'm saying, defamate his character. You know what? My Twitter would be snapping if I was him. I'd be like, man, fuck y'all. <laughs> like, period. In ca- right. all caps. Fuck y'all. Y'all can suck my heterosexual dick. <laughs> For real. For real. Because you, like, you, you talking about a 90s uh, R&B sex symbol for real. And then you going to turn him into... Trying to turn him sissy fat. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, well, how you going to turn genuine into that? that Hollywood was, That was satisfied. that nigga back in the day. You know what I'm saying? It's some women and we just, you know, because he just, we, I can't imagine him being with a guy because he just, that's genuine. Right. That, that, you know, Even was, though he was the one that started the little wiggly waves on the side, that shit's super gay now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean that shit, if I see a nigga with a little wiggly, I'll be like, right. nigga, you was... A yeah. homosexual. So what you doing? Trying to bring him back. Homosexual. I think Missy Elliott did his shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they both was finger waving it at Lil Joyce. So he maybe I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Maybe he is. Maybe they like, boy, I'm gonna kiss that nigga. You know he kissed a thousand niggas before. <laughs> you, you kiss boys, don't you? Yeah, period. Don't you kiss boys? <laughs> Do him like on lean on me. Yeah, but he had all the bitches. So y'all try to kill him. You know what I'm saying? Why well, come on, man? That's crazy. That's crazy that they that they mad at him. They mad, mad at, at him. him. That's some bullshit. They mad at him, dog. Get out of here, man. Right, so so awesome. but but they yeah. Hollywood. A- a- ain't satisfied until they get some man in the dress. They ain't satisfied until they get you acting like the opposite sex. Period. All these comedians and shit, man, they 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 get roles thrown at them all the time to act like a woman. Saturday Night Live, good for having a motherfucker dress up in, in a skirt. You know for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? You know what? Oprah Oprah put their ass on notice, though, man. She told them that their time is is up. <laughs> Who's time? Uh, oh, you saw the speech? Yeah, hell yeah, I saw Bro. the speech. She, What's, the, the, the men that's in power in Hollywood, she said they time is up. Yup, she come, hey, Oprah coming for that ass. She said they time is up. She gave this speech for the uh for, for the uh, Golden Awards? That's what it was? Yeah, Golden the Golden Globe Awards. Awards. Yep. She just gave a speech. I saw it uh, on Facebook. But it was another she, It was another white actor that said that Hollywood would be so much better if white guys didn't run Hollywood. Hmm. Wow, that shows you a lot, right, right. there. He said, "If if if white guys didn't didn't run didn't run Hollywood, Hollywood would be such a better place because you would get more diverse stories. You'll get a better product out here." Same thing with uh the music industry, bro. Get the motherfuckers out of here. Wow, because they trying. Oh, they gonna. So fuck Oprah had a lot to say. I wish we could hear it. But I, I, Oprah had a lot to say as far as you saying just men in general. Yeah. Period. You know, they going through that, that thing that they going through with, you know what I'm saying, the women in Hollywood being... Sexual charges. You know, just being oppressed because, you know, men around Hollywood, and they trying to do what they want to do. Yo, this ain't wow. like five minutes, though. Hold on. just want to hear a little bit of what she has to say. To the NAACP That's where a young worker by the name of Rosa Parks became the lead investigator on her case and together they sought justice but justice wasn't an option in the era of Jim Crow the men who tried to destroy her were never persecuted Reese Taylor died 10 days ago just shy of her 98th birthday she lived as we all have lived too many years in a culture broken by brutally powerful men for too long, women have not been heard or believed if they dared to speak their truth to the power of those men. But their time is up. <laughs> their time is up. 
It was somewhere in Rosa Parks' heart almost 11 years later when she made the decision to stay seated on that bus in Montgomery. And it's here with every woman who chooses to say, me too. And every man, every man who chooses to listen. Ooh. In my career, what I've always tried my best Uh-oh. to do, whether Uh-oh. on television or through so film, right. is to say something about how men and women really behave, to say how we experience shame, how we love and how we rage. I'm going to tell you, okay, how listen, I'm going to tell you what's about to happen over. She's about to get assassinated. She's going to okay. get <laughs> shot. They're going to shut that bitch down before she try to rule some shit. Because yeah. she's sounding like Queen Elizabeth, uh, Queen Elizabeth for, uh, 10 times yeah. better. You feel she me? She's about to run some shit. She's about to run some shit. I just shit. felt threatened. I feel like it's a we she, don't follow they their They were saying movement. that she was thinking about running for president in 2020. That's a strong yeah. woman right there, man. And let me tell you something else. She already, she she planning something, bro. Can't have that much fucking money oh, and be a black woman. A lot of power. It, it, it's just too much fucking power. Hey. Look, she about to gather all y'all women together and have y'all march across the motherfucking United States. Yep. <laughs> hey. She about to put all y'all in fatigue and AKs and have y'all try to run some shit and America about to shut her down. We about to, we ain't, we ain't settling hey, you for that. We y'all, y'all had Obama. Y'all cool. Oprah. Nah. She Yo, if head. watch it, Oprah goes, bro. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a war, bro. Man, can't do Oprah it. Oprah got so much power with women, man. It don't make no sense. And we ain't talking about just black women. We talking about hit, all body women. Squad. You know what I'm saying? If Oprah died, her casket, her funeral will be so huge it will take up a whole state. I believe guarantee. That. It will take up a whole city. Let's let's just dumb that down a little bit. Boom. It'll take up a whole city. Guarantee. Where's she from? Chicago? Yeah. Chicago will be lit. You know how they're going to do it? They're going to do it like on the Not purge, Not to speak on her death, I'm going to be fat. Right. I, I would like, to see, Oprah. I we'll would like to see her run for president, man. It would be nice. Not I really me. would. I would. Why, Keith? <laughs> because I just know no other country going to respect a woman president over this motherfucker. I, re- I, I think that as soon as we have a woman president, shh, shit really going to hit the fan. Ain't no other country... Putting a woman on no pedestal except America. We already in debt like a motherfucker. Get it? They 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 only respect a strong ass motherfucking man. Nah, Donald Trump got that debt shit taken care of. Man. He's a businessman. Look, look, man. His Donald Trump ignorance. ain't gonna be here too long. His Y'all think he's gonna full of, do his whole time? Well, it's is 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 making people do ignorant shit too, bro. It's like a it's like a virus, bro. Uh, Donald Trump How is steadily like, getting attacked. I like, mean, even though they can't. They, 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 he kind of dodging bullets, but he's still not dodging bullets. Bro, Canada. Oh, my bad. Canada. <laughs> Hold on. Canada. 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 <laughs> Can, Canada, bro, is about to build a fucking wall, bro. What? Canada about to build walls, bro. They about to put up their own fence and shit. Because you know why. Because they and know it's about to go but, down. But here's the crazy part. <laughs> they about to, they trying to kick out all the black people over there. There's a lot of racist shit going over Hold in Canada, on, bro. bro. Hold on, bro. Hold yes. On, bro. Canada is where they ran Hold to on, bro. back in the Hold days. On, bro. So you telling me. Man, they got black squirrels. You mean they going to kick black squirrels out too? Bro. <laughs> yeah. Everybody up through this bitch. You black, brown. You anything close to tan. You out of here, bro. Man, whatever, bro. Bro, I'm dead serious, bro. It's a lot of racist shit going on. So they go kick all the black or colored folk Co- there. Chinese, too? Chinese, nah. Yeah, yeah. I ain't hear shit about them. I just hear all about them. But you, it is some, it is some videos about the Chinese. And you think Drake like gonna shit. have that shit? Exactly. Just Drake control Drake. Canada. Exactly. You think Drake it. gonna have that shit? Drake bitch ass is still over here. <laughs> 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 he ain't over there. It's gonna be a minute before he goes back over there. He probably gets <laughs> relaxing. That nigga owns teams out there and shit like that. But yeah, you're right. He's over here. He ain't, he ain't giving a damn. So they really building a wall out there. Look, 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 look at the shit. Look at the shit Trump doing, man. Bro, I'm telling Trump you, has invested so much money into this military shit right now. You know what I'm saying? We was watching that shit weeks ago when he was talking about he got like triple cannons and shit like that. Niggas talking about taking up space, controlling territory in outer space. Bro, and you know what? I believe that because the last thing I remember from it, it was a show that came on Discovery Channel called Future Weapons. And the last thing I remember they showing about they had a fucking laser cannon, a real life laser cannon. And you just seen it's like a little beam. But that motherfucker do damage. Period. 
<laughs> and then we got that shit, and we got machine guns to take any type of clip of weapon. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's we got some shit. It's that same concept of we got Captain America way. Winter Soldier when they had those those hovercrafts in the air. Yeah, with the big, them big ass guns pointed down. Period, and they wanted to hit everybody at the same time. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Shit, somebody just invented that shit off of um, that Transformers movie. The last one when they had them little drones, it was like a big mama drone and yeah. it had mini drones and shit, and it was yeah. attacking shooting up. Somebody just made that. That wow. was a year ago, bro. And that motherfucker. Hold sick. on, man. Why did I read the other day that somebody got arrested for using a drone to, to sell <laughs> drugs? <laughs> Petty. Yeah, it's real, man. Oh shit. Hey, my nigga, send me a twenty bag. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's funny though because it I can is. see that happen. We I fly drones too. all the time. I could like, nigga, you, you ain't gonna catch me, right? Hey, that's called utilizing your resources. It Jake. is. Hey, that nigga thought he was smart as hell, didn't yeah, he? Man. I was just gonna use my drone, nigga. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> they can't chase a drone. That shit. motherfucker fly. Hey, bro, but I'm I'm really scared of this new technology because they got this shit like it's a mini drone, bro. And it's like a bug, and that motherfucker said it lands on your forehead and it detonates, and it shoot a blast in your head and just scramble your whole brain. Wow! And they say, yeah, we just perfected it, so it's perfect. So watch this. I can control it, and it went up to a little doll. Blah! A whole thing, and like it just—it's like a little mark. It's a little mark on the head, but everything else in your head is all fucked up. And they showed the inside of it, it got destroyed. Bro, that motherfucker sick. Have y'all seen the new previews for the new um, movie uh, about? Another uh, robot falling in love with a human. Have y'all seen the new movie? I forget what it's called. Start with an A. Ain't uh, yes, uh, yeah. Steven Spielberg movie. That yeah. motherfucker gonna be nice. It's gonna he, be nice, bro. But once again, we have a movie where a uh, robot falls in love with a human. Steven Spielberg got a lot of fucking information to be making movies like that, man. Like all of his, and he movies. made it an anime style, and it's badass. They're but, not gonna be satisfied until we fucking robots. They making yeah. these women, these robot women out here that keep their memory. You don't what's them dolls, man? They 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 made I, I forget what they call, but they real live looking women. A little sex they, dolls, yeah, a little soft. They, but they like sex robots because oh, yeah. they remember. They talk to you. They ask oh, yeah, you I know questions. What you're um, yeah. They remember because your they hook, conversation. When they hooked to the cloud, ain't they? They supposed to be hooked to the cloud. I don't know so. if they if they hooked to the cloud. That's really crazy, bro. But do you hear me, bro? Yeah, bro. This song, this hey. shit crazy. And they make they stay making movies about us fucking wanting to fall in love with robots. You seen Blade Runner? Blade Runner's another one. Dude had a fucking robot, or, or uh, it was like an image. But he turned that motherfucker. He said, I got that new upgrade. And he set it into her and restarted her. He said, I could take you anywhere. The bitch went outside and it was raining. And she was feeling the rain. Once she again. She turn real. Fucking sci- scientific <laughs> bullshit when it comes. Remember I mean, the video? Either one is gay or fucking some fucking car. But they t- That's right. crazy. They also got those robots where they can have babies, too. What? what? Yeah, I'm done. I just seen that on Facebook. Hey, I'm <laughs> done. Yeah. Man, you ain't that shit up. Man. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I'm dead serious. Hold on. You can look it up on your phone right now. Hold on. Robots that can have babies? Yes. Look it up on your phone. You know what? It's just going to be an incubator in her. And it's bio. Bro, that's crazy as fuck. Robots that can have babies. It's, it's Bionic it's, baby. Yeah. I mean, everything's <laughs> about to go hell yeah. tomorrow. When you got a robot, that's crazy. So it's a video. I showed KD this. It was a video of a dude that, like, He's, he got fired from Google, bro. So this make you think, what the fuck do you people do really do at Google? This nigga got fired at Google. He said, I am making my own AI, and it's going to be so smart, and I'm going to give his own license and shit. It's going to be like a human. This motherfucker's going to run. He's going to have a religion church for his robot, and it's going to have a bunch of followers. He's going to make his robot <laughs> a God. religion church? A I religion mean, church. Oh, for robots? No, for humans. And he's gonna, but he's gonna be like the like he's gonna run everybody and shit. But they're gonna follow the ways of the robot. And the thing is, the robot is gonna be the new guy. And when he dies, that robot is gonna have like somewhat custody for all the people that's followers. And he's gonna keep telling them what to do. He's trying to take over the world. And this is his words. Wow. And Google fired him. All right, yeah. so so hold on, yo. So he, he just told me to pull up robots having babies, and it's this pregnant robot gives birth. Is that what you was talking about? <laughs> what? You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> yes. The 
fuck out of here, man. Are you serious? Hold on. Let's check this out, you ladies and gentlemen. We, I'm, I'm checking out actually footage. So if you get a chance, all you have to type in is robots having baby. She's also pregnant and about to undergo an emergency C-section. Victoria, how are you feeling? Uh, not feeling well. Is he an anesthesiologist? No, but she's coming soon. Don't worry. This is my first time being pregnant. I can't believe this is happening to me. I'm sure everything will be fine. Oh, oh. I'll get the doctor. That is the robot, ladies and gentlemen. It hurts. Simulator. And this is a crisis exercise for the anesthesia team taking place in the simulation room at Columbia University Medical Center. Simulation is an opportunity for us to educate in an immersive and interactive way. This is really a chance for us. To so what we got is the um, pra nurses practicing uh, or simulating childbirth, even when it comes to uh, women having the vocals. So they get to hear they get to go through the whole experience, evidently. But where they taking this technology is crazy. Wow, that that's that's amazing. That's a good way to learn, though. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, they actually had to go through the whole process, even the even the whole physical uh, aspect of the communication part yeah, of that. Yeah, it's a good way to learn until that bitch get up and take your man and have a baby by that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and then she got to deliver the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've already had babies. <laughs> what more do you want? <laughs> right. And it'd be That's the nurse's crazy. man that she didn't took. Right. That's so, crazy. So she get off of that table, put on a dress, and get your nigga. That's crazy. <laughs> so what y'all think about H&M, man? H&M. Oh, so the internet's going crazy right now. Because H&M has put out an advertisement of kids' clothing, and they have a little black kid uh, wearing a green hoodie. And on the green hoodie, it says something about being a the, monkey. The, the coolest, coolest monkey. The coolest monkey in the jungle. The coolest monkey in the jungle. And it's the real dark-skinned little boy. And the, and the social media is going berserk about it. But they then they also had a picture of him standing next to a, a white kid who has on another hoodie, and it says he's like, um, like a safari expert or some shit. Like the, some of a hunter because it's like so because it, I don't know at the bottom says survivor something. Survivor specialist. Yep. First of all, shit. First, <laughs> first of all, the parents of the black boy should be fucking whipped and and and, and beat the fuck up. Unless they didn't. First know. of all, unless they didn't know they was gonna put that shit on there. Yeah, man, that'd be crazy if they didn't know. But you're right; they probably could sign the consent form. Say we gonna do what we gonna do with your child. But at the same time, man, I'm gonna fight to have that shit off. Cause you know, nigga, we gonna talk about this before you put this ad out. Because you got my my son. They ain't fighting. They getting that dollar. Hey, cause they you say know, how much? Nigga, I don't give a fuck what he put on. Shit, he could put on a monkey suit. You just want this money. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? They Some parents think like that. They could have just uh like CGI, not CGI, but like Photoshop that shit on there. Like the words, because you know some people that they would just have a blank shirt on, and they would just have the same design on it, so they don't have to. So keep you saying that's Photoshop? Could be, could be, but I don't think so. Right. Come on, man, you a black parents? You gonna really, you gonna really put your son in that ignorant shit? We don't know, man. Look, man, people sell their souls every day for that money. That all they true. all all a parent got to do is just say it ain't nothing but clothing. Cha ching. So you this, know what I'm saying? This Somewhere. one woman was out here. Prostituting with her mouth, <laughs> licking these <laughs> men's balls. <laughs> you don't think they'll put their son in a monkey suit? Man, 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 never mind. Say it like that. You know what I'm saying? Shit, he could be adopted <laughs> too. You feel me? He could have white parents. Right. Who said, hey, how you feel about uh, putting your black son in this sweater? Well, he does look like a little know. monkey. Yeah, well, he does come oh. from Africa. You know what oh. I'm saying? Like, straight up. Oh. They could think that. If if it is, that kid was adopted, I'm thinking of Angelina Jolene. Say her name again? Man, fuck you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Angelina Jolene. Angelina. Yo, yeah. <laughs> you know, she had a rainbow of kids. She did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She did. I'm pretty sure they was all in some film and shit like that. But I don't know. I, I don't. I, that's that's it's still though, man. People still don't have enough sense to not put ignorant shit out there like that. They knew what they was doing. 
when you see some, and whoever had an opportunity to look at that little boy's photo before that shit came out, thought the same thing. Everybody sitting at the table thought, like, damn, should we put this shit out? Like this little black boy with this money. And right. guess what they all said? Fuck it. Uh, <laughs> He's a monkey. Because uh, people, white white men, the white the white so, corporate, they don't give a fuck, bro. So the best thing they're doing is being quiet and don't say nothing. So this is funny because it's reminds me of the, that movie, the Zoolander, too. Because at the end of it, Will Ferrell snaps on all the uh, people in the room. You had H&M. Uh, you had all the uh, Tommy Hill figure. You had all of them in the room. And he was talking shit about each and one of them and talking about how ignorant and racist and white privileged they are and shit. Right. Bro, it was, it was kind of funny, but he actually said some real shit to him. So if y'all get an opportunity to see that... Um it's it's all over. Look look that up, man. It, and 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 give your view, opinion. Yeah, give your opinion. View view whatever you feel, man. Say whatever you feel, rather, man, because it's crazy. Hey, man, I forgot to ask. So, um, anybody seen that new um? What was it called? Um, Jumanji. There we go. Jumanji? <laughs> yeah, Jumanji. <laughs> nah, I was gonna say some other shit. Nah, but <laughs> I haven't seen it, but I want to see it. Though. I ain't seen it yet either. No, all right, I'm just asking. Nah, I ain't seen it yet, man. Anything we want to tell our uh, our pe- petty people out there before we go? Any, any words? Just make sure y'all join that petty group, man. It's, it's, it's a lot of funny stuff in there. We adding funny videos and pics every day. Period. Hey, man, it's cold out here, so please wear a jacket. And um, if you don't know how to work a car and someone tells you to, like, turn the ignition. <laughs> All right, look, to turn the heat on, bro, just turn the whole car on. So I'm just gonna throw that out. <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, yeah, it is cold. Y'all make sure y'all dress warm. Um, I did hear that there is going to be a drastic change in the weather come next week. That is probably going to be in the fifties. So uh, y'all make sure y'all 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 boost y'all immune systems up. Get y'all bodies prepared for these weather change because. These seasons, it's really they all blending together, man. Yeah, man. And this is this is because you're a local government doing this, and they all in cahoots with each other. So Wayne thinks that that the s- snow is fake, and um, <laughs> they they he thinks that yes. Harp is making the snow, but he's not the only one, because motherfuckers is on the internet now burning snow. Have y'all seen that's the latest trend in down south? You can burn, you can yeah, burn because snow. the you country folks are not snow. because the country folks down there have never seen snow. So they're losing their fucking minds. So they're gathering it, putting it in balls, and taking a light to it and trying to burn it. And it doesn't melt. It just sits there. It, su- it doesn't melt. Wow. Yeah, it just sits there. It turns black, actually. This shit is fake. My dog go out there and eat snow. That nigga comes out with diarrhea. I don't know why. It's bad. And it's like real bad diarrhea. Because the only thing... And he got a pissing problem. But the only thing he'd been drinking was the snow. He go out there and eat the snow because my dog's been eating that shit too and her shit been runny as hell. And I'm really? sitting here like, what the wow. fuck? I'm like, how is this? I'm like, what is making you shit? What did you get your hands on? I'm like, it's the snow. So it's that fucking snow. <laughs> Something's wrong with that snow. My cat don't even want to go in that snow. The clue is in the dookie. You gotta <laughs> analyze y'all dog's dookie and find out what the fuck is wrong with the snow. Y'all both said y'all dog is shit. Like, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't gonna find that. out what's I'm wrong with saying. the snow. And, and, y'all and, look and, like y'all want to solve this case. And, you Your know, name is Batman. <laughs> I'll take it to the local. Your eyes voice changed. I'll take it to the local Dayton Police Department to get it analyzed. Yo, well for real, for real. I used to eat snow. I just if I ever want to feel like a kid again, I might want to go Don't out there and eat some snow. Don't eat that. I'll Don't be eat that. sick, running for days. What the snow is what they got the flu in it. Stay away from the snow. Homemade snow, huh? Uh huh. <laughs> you think it's a joke, man? There's a video of us making fake clouds. We make fake clouds <laughs> just to get rain, bro. But you, you know think- what? I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm thinking about some shit. Like my dog is big as fuck now. Though. <laughs> like, <laughs> like she on some chunky shit right wow. now. <laughs> what? Hey, mine too, bro. I swear, bro. It's, not, it's, it's snow, bro. It's this weather. And now the damn dog act like he can't go outside and shit. It's in the dookie. <laughs> Check the dookie. <laughs> Check your dog's poo. I refuse. And you, <laughs> y'all get y'all answers. Get your chemistry set out. <laughs> but you know, uh, but you know what's weird about this weather? What up? I still see bugs outside. <laughs> I'm seeing birds and bugs, bro. And I'm oh, saying, like, gee. bro, what the fuck? Hey, it I was seen too, a fucking hey. caterpillar running no, across listen, the porch the other day, and it was cold as fuck. It was two birds in my basement, man. 
Two birds what in your basement? Fuck? It was two birds in my basement. Doing what? Flying around that motherfucker, man. <laughs> it was cold. <laughs> it was cold as fuck. <laughs> it was cold as fuck that day, too. Wow. And they still there? Hell no, nah, I got their ass up out of there. <laughs> How'd you get them out? With a broom? Yeah. Brain one, style? One of them, it was like this. It was at night. One of them, I got out through the, through the garage door. Then the other one was just still in there. And I'm like, I ain't fucking with you tonight because it's too cold. <laughs> <laughs> Came say. back the next day. Went down there. I had my son go down there to let the dog out. So his goofy ass going to leave the door open from the basement to the kitchen. Right. Just to come tell me that the bird was still down there. But <laughs> by the time he turns around, the bird is in the fucking house. Oh, yeah. I'm like, man, what the fuck? <laughs> Bird flying around the kitchen. Oh wow! I'm like, yeah, man, what the fuck? So yeah. I open up the window, and then open up the screen. That motherfucker flew out. I'm like, God damn! I didn't want that nigga <laughs> up there. Man. Uh, man, I, uh, thought you, yeah. I, I always thought you was about to go bright style on his ass. Nah, man. <laughs> <laughs> that gun too big to be shooting in the house. <laughs> that bird. <was. laughs> So we got uh, it's 2018, man. Hopefully, uh, y'all do some big things this year. Um, it is the start of a new year, so those who feel like y'all need to be a new you, uh, I wish you the best of luck. Um, we do have some things planned ourselves for the upcoming months, so man, just keep a major lookout. Also, remember to download the Fly 93.5 free app. Um, from Dayton to Atlanta, Free. we doing our thing. So yes, download with the latest hip hop and R and B that's out right now, as New well music. as old school and of course your slow jams. And um, is that wrap it up for us, fellas? That's, that's it. it. That's it. Hey, everybody, y'all have a good night. Stay petty. Peace. Peace.